Good afternoon all. Thank you for joining us at the Salsi Sharks Media Interaction with Scrum Half Jaden Hendrickse. The floor is now open for questions. How's it, Jaden? Uh, Ken Bourne here from The Citizen. Uh, and afternoon, Navashni. How's it? Hi. Um, Jaden, uh, Jaden, welcome back uh, to the Sharks. Um, can you just tell us how much your confidence has grown um, in the last, well, since you last played URC, uh, given what a good rugby championship you've had, you've not just established yourself as one of the best scrum halves in the country, well, arguably number one, uh, but also internationally you've made your mark. Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, I know the last time I played URC was when <laughs> in the semi-final, so the last time, so I'm super excited to to get into the park this weekend for the Sharks, I'm really, really excited. So, yeah, talking about confidence, uh, I'm just excited, that's all. So, yeah, and then basically for me, it's enjoying, enjoying every moment. And, yep, enjoying every moment this weekend, yeah. Next question. Hi, hello, it's Marnes here at Network. Yeah, I have one for you in my best English. Uh, actually, over the weekend, there was that maybe things that not went well for the Sharks. I actually know you weren't involved. But actually, what was the main focus? I mean, actually, over the week now, I mean, I mean, ahead of the next match. Um, yes. Um, please hello. Uh, so, so us, we prepare the same. So basically, this week when they came back, the main focus is on our defense. We need to we need to get our spacing and our alignment right on our defense, basically, and then also make our first time tackles. So that was the main thing. And then when it comes to attack, it's basically do what we did and just be ruthless when we come inside the 22. Morgan, you can go ahead with your question. Thank you so much. Uh, hi, Jaden. Uh, it's Morgan from the start. Um, I would just like to uh, talk about the returning Springboks that uh, are going to play this, probably going to play this weekend. It's also Evan's first match. Uh, um, you now have a very, fairly good idea of him uh, in the Springbok setup. Uh, what type of game plan do you think the Springboks are going to bring to uh, into the URC? And then also a few words on Yevon's uh, first appearance for the Sharks. Yeah, no, basically we coming back, we just want to play like how the Sharks play, the Sharks DNA, like how they've been playing over the years. Basically, we just want to come back and basically have a, a big influence towards the team, but also fit into the team as smoothly as possible. And then with Yevon, Yevon is super calm. He looks very excited and very happy that he can play this weekend for the Sharks, yeah. Sorry, just to follow up on that, um, uh, apologies for continuing. What is the Sharks' DNA, in your opinion, then? What is the game plan that the Sharks play to? Without so giving too much away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, so basically, like the Sharks' DNA transitions, we counter attack off transition attack. We score a lot of tries. We defend well. We have a good set piece. So basically having an all-around game. Thank you for that, Kaniso, followed by Ken. Thank you very much, Navash. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Jaden. Jaden, what, what do you guys would have taken from how Glasgow played um, against the Bulls? Uh, they were quite efficient in what they did, but also they did it at home, and they haven't been a team that's travelled well in a competition. So basically what we saw of what Glasgow did, they, were, they matched the Bulls physically. So even with the set pieces, they disrupt the Bulls' lineouts, and basically they attack the Bulls' uh, breakdown. So that was our main focus. Is basically we they came back and we had a main focus was on ourselves, fixing what we can fix, what happened over the weekend, and basically and also analyzing what Glasgow is going to bring to us, and then just pitching up on Saturday and playing the Sharks way. Yeah. I know that you may only have, let's say, one or two games with the Sharks before you may have to rejoin the park camp. But from your, from what you've seen, how far do you think the Sharks are from putting together a 
a, a full performance. I mean, Sean has said that when they've attacked well, they haven't defended well. When they've defended well, they haven't attacked well. Um, the, the Leinster game was a bit of both until that the, the, the penalty decision that went against the Sharks. So when do you think um, the Sharks uh, can actually start to string together what could be a complete performance? It's basically, for what I saw, is basically just uh, narrowing down the soft moments in the games. And our discipline also let us down in the second half a bit. And then also with our kicking game, we we basically, we just need to be much accurate in that part of, of our game. And then we basically, if we can get that right, uh, we will have an all-court game, yeah. Ken, you can go ahead. Thank you. Uh, Jaden, just on uh, Glasgow Warriors again, um, Last weekend against the Bulls, they really seemed to expose, you mentioned defence being one of the Sharks' focuses this week. They seemed to expose the Bulls' defence a bit. Uh, do you feel that, how much how much of an attacking threat do you feel Glasgow are? And uh, how much do you think they've improved uh, on that this season? Yeah, no, uh, so I only watched the three games of this. So, yeah, no, they are good on transition attack, like, they basically defend well. They have a high line, basically. So they they wait till you make a mistake so they can counterattack. And basically, they they play very deep. So they want you to come up and then drown yourself, and then they uh, can play the short options. So they have a good. They basically have a good attack. So yeah, it will be a good challenge this weekend. Thank you. Adnan, you can go ahead. Uh, thanks, Navashti. Um, Jaden, I, I know um, your brother Jordan plays for the Lions, and uh, obviously you, you guys um, are very close in age. Uh, just your thoughts on, on, on uh, obviously, uh, there are also, um, you know, could be possibilities of, of him playing for the Springboks one day. Um, <laughs> Have you guys chatted uh, to, uh, as brothers and saying uh, that you would like to play as a 19 combination for the Springboks one day? Yeah, I know we, we do chat about it. So it's just being patient. Basically, both, both of us being patient, we will play one day together. It's just being patient. And then when your opportunity comes, just basically take it in. Don't forget uh, why you came there, how you came there. So... Yeah, so it's basically just being patient, yeah. Yeah, you say patient. Um, do you think uh, Jordan, obviously, is still young. Uh, he, he's, his time is near, in your opinion? Only time will tell, so yeah. Only time will tell, so yeah. Okay, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Next question, please. Are there any further questions? If they are none, yeah, okay. I'll, go go I'll, ahead, Ken. I'll grab one. Um, Jaden, what 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 do you feel was the biggest thing you learned uh, out of this most recent rugby championship uh, campaign in terms of your game? It's basically just being accurate in anything I do, and just doing my job basically because there was a lot of pressure, so. But the lemonade pressure is basically putting in putting in the work, so it's just basically knowing my detail and so basically I cut it down to two things. It was basically uh, just executing my role and just play how Jaden plays. So yeah. Thank you, guys. Are there any further questions? Last call. If not, 